And what can I do for you, my child? Asked the mystic. My dear stealing personality, sweet the mouse. I've come to ask a favor of you. I am always being pursued by mouse-eating monsters who chase and bounce. Actually, want little one. I want to be a cat. A cat, is it? You believe being a cat will solve your problems? Ask the thoughtful theist. That is my hope, oh great one. Please help me. Was the nervous reply. So, with a wave of a hand, the miserable little mouse was immediately transformed into a sleek, strong, yet quite ordinary cat. The feline was immensely big, stretching its limbs. It turned about, testing its newly acquired paws and claws. Farewell with a sincere meow of appreciation. Wow! Thank you, very much! Wow! Thank you! Thank you! The cat departed, and the ascetic then returned to his trains. The meditator was again interrupted, this time by an odd-looking, dirty animal that seemed strangely familiar. It appeared with crimped ears, bent tail, scarred face, and ruffled coat. It was the self-same cat. So again, the sad-looking being approached for a blessing. His concentration broken by the intrusion of the now scruffy target of nature's force, the saintly person spoke. Ah! It is you! Now you want something more? Explain yourself. Wow! Wow! Quite so! Ow! Ow! I've suffered at the hands of my... Wow! Please grant me! Wow! Wow! One more boo! this time. Greeting the air, filled with fresh enthusiasm. It expressed thanks with a sharp bark. Woohoo! 
Then, with the jauntiest of gates, pranced out with the utmost confidence to seek its fortune. And the sage, also pleased to be left alone, re-entered his meditation in a peaceful state of mind. And that was that. But, well, in the course of time, before too long, life has its ups and downs. One's destiny is always changing. One is strong, another weak. The dog crawled back into the hermitage with its tail tucked between its legs and proceeded to lie down at the feet of his master. The dog was whimpering in a grief-stricken condition. This time the sage was on the verge of expressing anger. He opened his eyes and glared at the poor bedraggled dog. Again you've come, O oh sorry one. I warn you, this is your final opportunity. I do not want to be disturbed in my meditation again. Do you understand? Choose carefully, for I will grant you no other wish after this. Is that clear? I understand. Let me see now. So, after a period of deliberation, the cautioned cur came to a decision. It placed its paws together and put its weather-beaten head on the floor. I want to be a tiger! That is your final choice. Very well. Become a tiger. So with the flick of his wrist, the mystic sage changed the humiliated hound into an enormous striped predator. There, the tiger sat, softly growling while gazing into space. Then, the belligerent beast began to slowly turn to focus its vision on the ascetic. The tiger thought aloud. My stomach is empty. Ever so gradually, the tiger rose up never losing aim of the saintly. The tiger poised itself with razor-sharp claws extended and its huge jaws gaping. It was calmly addressed by the holy man. So, you want to eat me? A fierce. Yes! was the response, but at that very moment, it again became a mouse. Realizing its fate in a sudden fit of fear, it fled into a crack from where it had once emerged, and from that time it was never again seen nor heard. Thus ends the tale of again become a mouse.